Hello my dear students. Welcome back to the YouTube channel The Engineering Survey. Previously we talked about how the leveling is carried out and the methods of finding reduced levels. Today we are going to talk about the combined error of earth curvature and refraction occurred in leveling. Further we are going to learn the correction for that as well. Here we go. Hello students. Today we are going to learn the combined error of earth curvature and refraction. So I didn't understand anything you said. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry. If you can remember the definitions of a level line and the horizontal line, it will be easy. Now tell me, what a level line is? A level line is a line which is parallel to the mean surface of the earth. Very good. Now tell me what a horizontal line is. Horizontal line is a straight line which is tangential to the level line at a point where the level is. Exactly, thank you. As you know, line of sight passing through the telescope travels horizontally, but the level line follows a curved path. The difference between the level line and the horizontal line at a particular place is known as the error caused by the earth curvature. Sir, now I understood. Good. Now let me explain what the refraction error is. How many of you know that what you are seeing in the night sky is actually not in that place? Most probably you may not. The reason is the deflection of rays when entering from medium which is having a less density to a medium which is having a high density or vice versa. When the deflection is happening continuously, it seems like bending of rays through the air. Therefore, objects at considerably far away from us are not at the directions where you see. Even the place you see where the sun is, not the place where the sun actually is. This phenomenon is common for staff readings as well. Wow, interesting! Okay, I will explain relevant equations for the earth curvature error and the refraction error in SmartBot. As you see in this figure, the line of sight is supposed to follow the horizontal line. But due to refraction, it doesn't follow the horizontal line. Therefore, it lies between the level line and the horizontal line. Now we can apply these conditions to the Pythagoras theorem since OX dash B dash triangle is a right angle triangle. Accordingly, x dash b dash squared is equal to ob dash squared minus ox dash squared. Then we can substitute ob dash by r plus h plus c and ox dash by r plus h. Since the instrument height h is too small compared to the radius of the earth 6370 kilometers, we can say r plus h is approximately equals to r. Then we can simplify the equation like this x dash b dash squared is equal to the square of r plus c minus r squared. Further, for small distances like d, we can assume x dash b dash squared is equal x b squared in other terms d squared. Therefore, we can substitute x dash b dash squared by d squared. Further, we can neglect the instrument height h since it is too small compared to the mean radius of the earth. Therefore, we can rearrange the equation d squared is equal to rc plus c squared. Further, we can neglect the term c squared since it is too small compared to the mean radius of the earth. Now we can more simplify the equation as follows. Earth curvature error c is equal d squared upon 2r. Now we can substitute 6370 kilometers for r and convert the value into meters. Then we can substitute the value for d in kilometers and get the answer in meters. The simplified answer for c is 0.0785 d squared. But finding c is not enough because we need to find c minus simple r to get the correct staff reading. After doing experiments, it has been found that refraction error simple r is 1 seventh of the earth curvature error. Thus, we can write the combined effect of earth curvature and refraction C minus R as 6 seventh times of the earth curvature error. Hence, we can simplify the equation as follows. 
C minus R is equal to 0 0.0673 D squared. To understand this more better, let's try this example. A staff is held at a distance of 200 meters from a level and a reading of 2.785 meters is obtained. Establish the empirically correct reading for curvature and refraction. The reading you observe through the line of sight is 2.758 meters. If you deduct C minus R value from staff reading, you will get the correct staff reading. Let's substitute distance between the instrument and the staff the D value of 200 meters in kilometers to the equation. C minus R is equal to 0 0.0673 into D square. It is equal to 0 0.0673 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 meters. The answer is 0 0.0027 meters. Now we can easily obtain the correct staff reading. It is 2.758 meters minus 0.0027 meters. The answer is 2.755 meters. I think now you know what the combined error of earth curvature and refraction is. Sir, I'm happy. Today I learned that what I see is not always correct. Ha 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 ha. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of the very latest videos.